All right, this is Shamar here back again with uh, round three, game two of the Toronto Regionals 2015 held at Legends Warehouse in Vaughan. Again, I'm joined by my good friend Tim, uh, who's going to be covering this game of myself playing Noise versus Jin Techie Chris, as I like to call him, playing against my favorite RP. What's up, guys? And yeah, even though we're in the age of RP, I guess we can call it, uh, after Clock came out, and uh, all the near Earth hub switch to kill kill style. Uh, we do have to shout out Chris. Chris has honestly been playing RP since it came out. I yeah. think every single time, every tournament I've ever come across, he's been playing RP. So he he didn't just switch. He wasn't the bandwagoner. This dude, this dude played RP before Sundu, before Mental Health, before Enhanced Login Protocol. <laughs> actually made it like super good. Yo, he oh. is true to Jinteki. Yeah. Yeah. It's not just a bandwagon. No, here. no. In those days, all he had was like double Eli and R and D and pre. <laughs> and uh, just teasing. So he starts with the install install over HQ and R and D and takes a manual credit. Hmm. Did he mulligan or was um, that his first five? I believe he didn't mulligan and I did. Okay. So he must have still liked it. Mm -hmm. he might be holding on to a mental health or a sundu. And I go with the cash install for a net gain of two credits install the Aesop's Pawn Shop for my second click. Third is a manual draw. Or maybe that was the fourth, so I took a credit and uh, drew manually. Still a great opening, you're gonna get that money back and then some, start your next turn and you're already starting the, the mill process. And I think we discussed this beforehand where my whole strategy playing with RP is Chris plays the uh, celebrity gifts here. You got Eli Caprice Daily Business Show, Yagura, and don't recognize the. Is it a Crick? That's Crick. Crick. Right there. A one for three, yeah. One right. for six when he puts on the archives. That's okay, I see why he kept that hand because that's an incredible hand. It's a great hand. And after seeing that, um, I pretty much told myself that, okay, this is going to be another game where I just try to mill all the things that I can mm -hmm. and just hope to hang on here against RP. Mm hmm. And it's so. frustrating because, uh, sorry, the the ice RP has to work with now. I mean, I, I know you have parasites in this deck. Well, I mean, it's a noise deck, so mm -hmm. not not exactly a huge stretch of the imagination. But you you can't really face check Yagura. That's so annoying. You cannot face check Crick. It's even more annoying. Right. So you you're holding on to these parasites. Just like, can I just find like a, a like a not threatening piece of ice <laughs> that you can res and then I can kill it? You know. All right. And it's so hard to even get data sucker tokens. Yep. Um, because obviously playing RP, their whole purpose is to lock down the centrals and make it as difficult as possible to get in there. So it's just a very uh, annoying deck to play against for a noise player because options are already limited as is for noise. Um, but as you saw in round one, it is doable. I was able to mill out an RP deck in round one, so... He chucks a really early FP of Future Perfect into Archives. I guess when he used uh, Celebrity Gifts, he didn't want to show that it was in hand. Mm -hmm. But here we go, it's a side game. And at this point, I you, chose You're taking your sweet time. I chose to roll <laughs> dice to choose my uh, side bet, and it, it worked out. I can't remember if, I, if this is one of the times when I saw what I rolled and decided to do something else. Uh, but it did end up working out, and I steal the early Future Perfect. Makes you feel much better. There's, I mean, it's it's got to be Crick on archives. There's mm -hmm. no question about it. Is Crick is the rest cost on Crick one credit? Oh yeah, it's it's six strength. Yeah, one is on archives. <laughs> oh man, incredible, absolutely incredible. I would actually argue it's the best of the positional ice with Turing coming in a close second. Oh yeah, and I mean Turing is still incredible in RP. And then what's the one that's over uh, R and D that? Uh, Gutenberg. Yeah, where you just. Okay, uh, yes, yeah, su yeah, su <laughs> super, super annoying, but I mean, if you stop caring about tags, then there you go. Mm -hmm. And then Mirumati is also good, but I I mean, I just think Crick and Turing are better. Mm -hmm. Just so my lowly opinion. I pawn the imp for three, uh, play the iPad worse to draw three cards, hoping to get some wild side love here. But instead, install a Gravedigger okay. using my Sauce Rower tokens and milling another card. And actually, I had a lot of questions during that tournament as to uh, the reasons why I pawn the things that I do. 
I didn't think that my pawning patterns were too unusual. I mean, if I play a card for free off of Sauce Rara, mm -hmm. regardless of if it's an imp that comes in with three tokens with a Grimoire out, mm -hmm. uh, if I use one token or no, no tokens, I always go for the pawn mm -hmm. almost immediately, unless I know that I can use that imp in the near future. Right. So I had a lot of questions about that. I'm not sure um, why. I guess other people play it differently, but I just believe in getting as much money as I can so that when I do see my wild sides, I have the money to play whatever it is that I draw. Yes, exactly. And I think that's the key too. I mean, obviously you're running copies of all these virus programs. And plus it's very anarch that way. Mm -hmm. It's like, oh, install. Just kidding. I don't need you. <laughs> you get rid of it. So here he goes. He sets up his new remote um, that is defended by a piece of ice, which doesn't really happen too often early against RP. Might be the Caprice? I mean, this is all conjecture here. Mm -hmm. There's there's a naked uh, uh, remote, too. That could be daily business show. Now that he saw you tra uh, pawning imp. <laughs> but who knows? So sure gamble for four. Find the wild side. All right. Now I just need my pancakes. You don't need two of those. Okay, you're going to pass the turn. And drop another wild side. Or He's adjusting his money, which means... Yep. There's the DBS. It's either that or mental health, he's either gaining or spending. So here he's going to accelerate his card drop, choose exactly what he needs. I think that was an agenda. I saw the flash of it I didn't for see just it. an instant. I could be wrong, I could be terribly wrong. Take a second to think about his options here. So we do know that that is likely a caprice in that. Yeah, uh, the, be the beginnings of his, you cannot get through this server. Mm-hmm. He's going to look to double, triple stack that with ice. Or make a new one. Okay. Make a new one. And this is another game where the remotes end up going mm. off the table. Yeah. Because there are so many of them. Yep. And of course the Sundu install, res, guaranteed to make the money back. No mm -hmm. need to adjust the money. So when I see that and I'm playing against RP, I don't have pancakes out, so I'm only working with three clicks. Uh, it yeah, just took to another one to draw. discouraging. Yeah, so you're, you're really digging now you just took a wild side draw and another draw so there's a free data sucker causing him to mill something I feel like you're debating whether to draw even more mm -hmm. another imp okay so my thought process here was kind of um, do I waste the clicks drawing cards when I know I'm going to draw two off of wild side mm -hmm. or do I try to play as many viruses as possible just to keep milling cards and hopefully getting rid of things that he wants to see I yes. know he has DBS yes. and he's going to see cards a lot faster than I do um, So, but you're disrupting the flow that of, DBS, DBS picks up cards right. which so is very important indirect too. pressure through virus mills is yeah. what I was uh, going for yeah and I mean you're, you're not playing his game Mm -hmm. He hasn't resed a single piece of ice, and I, like he would love to. He would absolutely love to, because he wants he wants to hit you with Crick, he wants to hit you with Yagura. Mm -hmm. uh, Eli, oh, okay, I guess you would just bounce off Eli, but but you know, like he he wants you to run, and you're not you're just you're just ignoring him. I mean, until he shows me that he's trying to score, I felt like I didn't need to run. Yep, and that's yet. that's completely fair. So there there we go. We're yeah, we're assuming that's a Capri service, the very first one he set up. You're pawning the data sucker. That was, and you're you're a plus three, net three for that because you installed it for free there. Mm -hmm. Now at this point, what do you want to see? You probably want a grimoire. I want the grimoire, um, and I want to see the adjusted chronotype mm -hmm. very very badly. Mm -hmm. And you have the money for both. I do. So you could just install both, get the engine going, and there, yep, you're digging more. And I remember being very, very frustrated at this game because of the draws that I was getting. It almost felt like, for those who are familiar with playing on Octagon, those times when you complain and you scream at Octagon for giving you three cards, of this, or three of the same card in a row, like that's the kind of stuff that I was drawing <laughs> yeah. this game. So excellent cut by Chris, I have to say. And there's my third Ace oh, of Pawn Shop geez. right there. That's your penance for getting in your opening hand. <laughs> Say, hey, you want Pawn Shop? Here's all of them. <laughs> And forced to drop the Crypsis and the Parasite. I had Deja Vu in my hand, so I knew I could get them back. Yep. Um, 
but without having Grimoire out, I tend not to play Crypsis, even if I have it at a reduced cost. Yeah. Um, due to Sauce Rara, because it's it's not that it's a waste, but I hate playing it and having to prep Crypsis for it. Yeah, it's like. it's pretty click intensive. I mean, we we know Noise Pawn Shop. Uh, it doesn't really hurt for money once you get going. Right. So it's not like the five install is a huge deal. And and on top of that, like you said, you have Sahasra anyway. Mm -hmm. But it's click intensive to load it up. So and you Chris, can't afford that. Chris installs um, new remotes. It's off the screen. You can see the very tip of it. <laughs> he goes pretty far off the screen. So just keep that in mind. At this point, I guess you're, you're, you're kind of... Very thankful he hasn't found the second, third sun dues, the mental health clinics. These are standard cards right. for RP now. They they could be, he just hasn't res them yet, maybe. Mm -hmm. But so here's another free virus. It's a grave digger, and like we were saying before, uh, Grimoire being a very important card is even more important with a card like Grave Digger because when you install Grave Digger, um, obviously it comes in with the token, so that's one mil plus. A second mill due to the grimoire, which I just found there. Uh, there to play. Is, yeah. So the uh, grave digger installs end up being two mills instead of one. Yeah, fantastic. And this a is a money card. I'm gonna go ahead and assume that's a sundu. Maybe mental health. If he just increased his credit pool by one, that's mental health. And here's his DBS. I remember Such a great card. badly Sorry. wanting to remove that DBS from the table and just not having the firepower to make a run on a central and mm -hmm. come back mm -hmm. and uh, trash that DBS, even with the imp out. Yeah. A again, it's it's a matter of, you know, which one do you really want to poke? You really don't want to touch archives. You don't want to deal with Crick. With Crick, yeah. You know that your guru is on R&D. Okay, like one net damage, okay, not the end of the world, mm -hmm. but still, it's annoying. And he gets another free look. So I guess HQ would have been your best bet, and then you could go in and imp trash. Installs another remote, f even further off the table. I guess and he's just gonna credit. My it. new rule is gonna be if I see RP come down the table when I'm recording, I'm just gonna switch to the widest angle possible. Yeah. Because you know they're gonna be playing off yeah. of that. So it's a. It's all wild off. conjecture at this point. <laughs> <laughs> what those cards are. I think I just drew another Sasrara. Do you need two out, or, I mean, is two free dollars enough for you? Um, I, it depends on the game and on the situation. Sometimes I do play two, because the second one comes in for free, and then I can pawn it. Um, sometimes I play two, and I leave two in play, just for those free installs when yeah. I have Grimoire out already. So there's an Eli in HQ, and like we said, this, you're, you're, that was probably the best thing you were hoping for. It's mm -hmm. the least threatening ice you could have had him res. And it just sucks, because I end up trashing Kuroder thinking I wouldn't need it. yeah. But was your objective really to get into HQ or just to just to get the central run over and done with so you can now trash DBS? I think that was it, but I didn't go for the DBS. If I'm not mistaken, I went for the open sundew, which might have been a mistake. Oh, you're going to Parasite. Get him to mill one. Chris, you got to mill one. There we go. Okay, that's good. It'll o open up some pressure on HQ. And you're gonna draw again. again. Okay, yeah. Still hoping for the pancakes. There's yeah. a second wild side. Yeah. Page Piper. As much as I hate that card, might have been a good idea to include that. Yeah. For today. It's, it's the deck slots though. Such a such a problem now. You're switching from virus counters to dice for the parasite there. So now what is Chris thinking? He's thinking, okay, I've got HQ is on the clock here. Mm-hmm. He hasn't, again, like you said, he hasn't threatened scoring any actual points. Not he yet, could, no. I guess. I guess he didn't draw an agenda that I thought he did when I saw that flash of a card. It was clearly mistaken. So he's probably just looking for agendas. And we don't know if you've been milling any. Right. Usually when my opponent takes this long, it kind of uh, makes me assume that I'm milling agenda. Mm -hmm. But I'm also usually wrong. So <laughs> I think that there were a couple in archives... Um, but with his DBS, it, there's also a chance that he's dropping them to the bottom. That's of the very game. true. Yeah, if he doesn't feel safe, especially now that, like we said, HQ is on the clock, he could just be burying some. And there, of course, in in RP, there's the agendas you don't actually want to score, right? Like you don't really want to score future perfect until you've got it locked down. 
Okay, this is all irrelevant because he just installed at the So yeah, you're right. He had that. Uh, he took some time to think about it. We could kind of see the hesitation, and then he just did it. So that could be a new say. But it's very likely a future person. All right, here we go. We have another Crypsis. Looks like you milled an ice. Your money up, but still working at a credit or a quick deficit because I don't have the pancake. Oh, that's true. So you can't get in now. All right. You can't get in because you can't. You have, you have to make a central one first, and that's your turn. And you'd think playing three copies would not see it by now. That's just a lot. So there's a deja vu for my last click. Probably and fishing some cash. I think I did go for cash in a bit. That's usually my go-to. Yeah, as you said, the Gravedigger is a fantastic combo. Okay. Okay. Well, you're expecting to get into HQ. Mm -hmm. If he scores out on his next turn, uh, then Parasite will take to three. You install Data Sucker. Comes with a token. Comes with one. Eli is immediately dead. Maybe that was a thought. I think you might be right there. However, since he double advanced, if it's Nisei, he could just take two clicks to score it and then just overwrite mm -hmm. HQ anyway. We'll see. We'll have to see what it is. Mm -hmm. Again, I don't think RP really wants to score Future Perfect as the first agenda. Unless that's the only agenda that they've seen. Yes. Which Let's see. It's, it's, it's Future Perfect. Future. All right. Yep. So, disregard everything I just said. So, Data Sucker will come in free here. And then as soon as you run HQ, Eli is dead. I'm gonna have the imp to dig with anything that I see. Yes, I yes. like it. Yeah. 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 Wild side. And we know this is coming. So there it is there. Yeah. Come on, card. Getting me a token oh. running. <laughs> And I remember at this point too, I wanted to have the Great Bigger out last turn so that I could get an additional token on it. Mm. But it just didn't work out and didn't have enough points. Yeah. You, you want to play Sugar Gamble. Mm. Oh, sorry, I didn't send this. I need to grab a Sunday. Alright, and you see. Is that a it looked like a Sunday, yes. Sunday, yay! Victory. Sunday. <laughs> One down. Sun don't? Sun don't. <laughs> now it's wide open. I, I can't imagine you not going in again. I believe that would have been my last click though, so I, I was kind of worried. Oh, that's true. Second click. Uh, second click, install data sucker. Third click, run HQ. You still have a fourth click. But then the thing is, we hit the snare. If he had a snare. Or anything like that, it would suck to end my turn. Yeah, R RP always, you know, you can always have the kill variations. I mean, he, you saw you grew right? Mm -hmm. And I, like we said, even though it's only one net damage, it's you know, still an indication or something mm -hmm. that there's more kill involved. And it's, yeah, it's gonna be bigger. And then the next turn, you'll be able to use that counter. Mm -hmm. Unless he decides to purge, but I feel like he'll use his three clicks to a better use than that. Yeah. There's some mental health uh, credits off the table, off the screen. DBS draw. Man, that DBS is so good. Well, it's yeah. that long. He's he's going to be seeing the cards that he chucked to the bottom come back up very soon. Between mm -hmm. between the cards that you've milled and how long DBS has been live. Right. So all these cards, if they've been bad, if they've been agendas, if you've been burying agendas, he doesn't want to score. They're coming right back up. And you HQ is completely open. It's yeah, it's true. One of those. One of the, I mean. There's a unrest card between DBS and the mental health. Uh, screaming Jackson to me. So he protects HQ with a lot of face down ice. And it solves the upgrade. Even more of a good time. Probably a second Caprice, you're thinking? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that's really not a big deal. It wasn't, but if I'm not mistaken, that kind of put me off a little bit. Um, and made me want to run Marcus. different places, okay. so I yeah. don't think I actually I don't think your deck's going to do anything with that, but yeah. you'll just be there, so if you if you want to do something, you have to make a run and spend three bucks. There, there's always, I mean, there's always a strategy of, uh, oh, and you're checking... Oh, that was the, uh, I can't take cards from my heat, what's it called again? Blacklist. Blacklist, right. yeah, Blacklist. Okay. 
However, I feel like it wasn't rezzed if you just leaned over and... Uh, no, he did actually res it. He did no, res no, it. sorry, I mean, sorry, I didn't mean res uh, protected by ice. Sorry. Right, right, right. Yeah, it so wasn't, it is open. It, wasn't. it is open. So you're not going to pawn anything. Are we going to see a grave digger mill? your turn, so he's gonna take his mental health credit. Was that six? Oh no, wait. Yeah, you read, you ran out of okay. and saw the crit. But I mean, you knew this was coming. Mm -hmm. there's, there's no reason uh, you didn't know it there. I paid for it. There you and go. you just want the Jackson yes. pop here. Jackson. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, mental health makes it on this screen, okay. So he pops Jackson, and then uh, the reason why I did that is because I wanted to get rid of the blacklist. So that I can use my deja vu. Yeah. So I believe the next click is running and uh, aim trash in that blacklist. Yep. It looks like you set it aside two face down. Mm -hmm. And that has to make you feel good. I mean, you're, you're thinking you got some good stuff with the mills there. Some, some things. I'll likely never see again though. Yeah. Ice, 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 ice. Mm -hmm. Looks like a long ice. And my last click, I'll run. And yeah, that his his R and D is looking pretty thin. And there's the run at the blacklist. Yep, another grave digger count. Yes. So as it turns out, great value for keeping grave digger or the late install, as you said. Great value, Walmart brand. <laughs> Yes, again. Uh, I think you forgot to take off the Cryptus counter when you broke Crick. I think I do end up taking it off. I'm not mistaken. Right, cool. yeah, there's so much to, there's so much to keep track of. <laughs> I'm not, tr not trying to be critical here. I hope I took it off. Get you a retroactive read this one. <laughs> Video evidence. I'm a cheater. <laughs> There we go. All right. So he took his DBS draw. So what is Chris thinking at this point? I mean, it's the score is tied. Mm -hmm. Even though it looks like his board position is extremely dominant, totally it's a tied game. Spice. Thanks to that early future curve report. He just reinstalled. Oh, I wasn't. I didn't catch that ice. In turns, uh, what was on top? The last click will be to everyone draw a card now. Two days. That's what you want, though, so I will just... I'm, I'm just gonna blind guess the Lotus Field. I, um, I think you might be right. Yeah? Okay. Yep. It, it's a really good ice. So. Mm -hmm. Well, outside, still no pancakes, though. This is crazy. 23 minutes in and, and not... There it is! Hey. <laughs> We're cooking pancakes. A little later than you would have liked, but whatever. <laughs> much, this much is later. this is this is how noise is sometimes. You drew you drew all your other pieces fairly. Right? Uh -huh. so, uh, and one good here, okay. Two mill card. Mm -hmm. There's nothing you can do about that. And we've experienced this too with uh, our own games. Uh, even if the corp decides to trash Sundu, because we know RP sometimes likes to put RP uh, Sundu in their scoring server early, uh, if they trash it, that's a free group to token. It happens pretty often. Yeah. I like it. Well, I mean, in any corp, you know, like you stack up that one server, mm -hmm. you put all your good stuff in it, and it's going to expire, then you can use it to score agenda later. The time comes to it. Okay, we, we got that install in the scoring server. Which is three eyes deep, Curtis has no time to it. And he is filthy rich. Install, advance, 
He's gonna. Yeah. All right. He's gonna press the issue here. It's one of them, so it's looking like he's saying. He's reaching for R&D again. Install advance and take the credit back. Okay. <laughs> So yeah, he, he interns that third piece of ice. I'm guessing it's a little bit because I'm really paying attention. Mm -hmm. And yeah, he's deciding to press the issue. He knows Crypsis, your only breaker, very click intensive to load up. This is the first free wild side draw you've gotten all game. But it still felt pretty damn good to finally get it. So. <laughs> 20 minutes or nine. Party hard, eat some pancakes. <laughs> Pancake station at the bar. <laughs> Oh, another grave digger. No, another card. And, and like we talked about, this is just this is just you ignoring everything. RP. <laughs> just, you know what? I can. I'm just gonna do this. You score that agenda. And that R and D is getting very, very thin. I mean, we're we're 20, approximately 26 minutes into the match. Think of every mandatory draw he's taken. Think right. of every virus you've installed, and then the Grave Digger Mill is on top of that. It's, my it's not thought, inconceivable at all, man. A 49 card deck, that will disappear very quickly. My exact thought was, well, he's going to score his gen at 5-3. Mm -hmm. And at this point, I don't really have any other option than to just try and know what I can yep. and beef up for an artifact draw. Now, of course, hindsight's twenty twenty. How do you feel about that mimic install? Because you paid full price for that and it has not been used once. Yeah, I I'm not sure why I went for it that early. Um, Just get cards out of your that, hand. Well, the fact that it's Jinteki, and if I do make run, there's a huge chance of winning the century, and I don't want it to be a cheap a cheap hit where Whew. I should have just played it type thing. <laughs> that is a big ice on the <laughs> HQ there. Okay. Into the total. All right. I'm assuming you're just gonna end the run. Yeah, I didn't want to blow the on Yikes. And, and this is what RP can do well, when it gets its money. This is any ice, it doesn't matter. Dropping an ice had worse. I mean, you have free wild side draw now, so. Not the worst thing. Mental health credits, more DBS draw. He, he's got to be down to less than 20 cards in his RD, I think. Yeah. Looks very nice. Yeah. So is he going to take triple install? That's his turn. Nope. Oops, triple not oh, and APD. And we can see his frustration there. He <laughs> really, really cannot be finding the agendas he wants then. The two agendas that you don't want to score. Yeah, really. Yeah. Really. You want the runner to waste their time. Uh, doing side games, you want them to drain their four bucks on NAPD mm -hmm. while you score your Nisei, and then you got your Nisei trained to victory. So really, yeah, Chris is uh, definitely frustrated there too. So, so we can kind of infer the the draws even with DBS this entire time. It's just not been going his way. Mm -hmm. Noise, man, just hitting those. Could could he have been popping Nisei's back with Jackson? That would be huge. So I installed the dinner, and the reason why this card's in the deck, I put it in the deck the morning of the tournament because in all the playtesting that I had, I had so many memory issues where uh, I would have like a data stuff on the table that I wanted to keep, but I had to get rid of it because I wanted to install it very different. So I thought this card, playing one copy of it, would come in handy, and granted it did very often, but in this game, it was kind of a waste of play. So, so is this is this install just to kind of justify your day of decision? Just like, damn, damn it, it was, I'm gonna use this. <laughs> I'm gonna use this. It was to get the grave digger out and just hope that something gets milled at some point. Right. Um, and then the grave digger can stay there and not pawn. Yeah. Oh, did Chris mill there? There. Uh, wow. There he goes. Yeah. And of course, you will be using the token. Right. Away. Yeah. Just just disrupt his draw. And I mean, if he's getting Jackson, he's throwing it down immediately because yep. that Crick, while yes, Crick is fantastic, but you also have a ton of money. It's not inconceivable that you can just uh, brute force your way through it with Crypsis. Mm -hmm. and, and he's he's fully aware of that. So yeah, any Jackson he draws, I mean, goes straight 
straight to the table on there. Off the screen, of course. Could be the unrest card right there next to mental health. Yeah, okay, here we go. Oh, this is, this is potentially for the win now. All right. Now there was no yeah, there was no hesitation <laughs> there. There's just this has to happen. So the install and double advance. He's checking his face down again. Uh, is he actually upgrade. worried? Right oh man. Okay, I think he's actually worried. I was thinking of it because it's just it's just mind games. It's like, ah, oh, should I look at this? <laughs> Give me something to think about. But if he's if he's actually worried, then that's what could be a caprice in there. Mm -hmm. But of course, the benefit of RP, you can okay. Assuming he's got a caprice on archives on HQ and in that server, he, he can res all three like in that order because you have to run the central first anyway and yep. just trash the previous one. Completely, completely legal. Such frustration. Yeah. But no Nisei Mark II scored, so I knew, I knew that I could still have a chance. Yes. At least. And, okay, we can't read his credit pool exactly, but with only three dice, he's not super duper rich. Mm -hmm. Those three pieces of ice could conceivably drain quite a bit if you just force him to res them. So take a free wild side draw. Now what are you thinking here? You have to go for it, right? At he's this like, point, he's at game point. Yeah, at this point I'm thinking what is the best way to mill a bunch of cards and get into archives. That's the only thought on my mind. Yep. Alright, we're starting with the cash. Click one. Mill one, take money. So it's a net gain of four due to Grimoire and the Sauce Rower token. We're still good for memory, yep, that's what we're just counting up. Yeah, you're good. Progenitor. Yeah, it's, it's well, we're, we're looking at that cryptos and do you do you even bother stacking a token on it? You don't need money. This is when I would love to have a second cryptos. Data sucker and you're gonna have yeah. to No, you don't have to trash. Uh, yeah, because you still have six memory, but progenitor does not count. So there's a no, second mill. Okay. You have two clicks left, so it's gotta be a central run. No, it's the amped up for three extra ah. clicks. So take a brain and get three more clicks. Well, now we're talking. Oh, and that's a <laughs> fantastic <laughs> card to hit for brain damage. So now I have four clicks again because I was on my last click that I played. Uh, it was Sorry, third click I played. Yeah, third click that I played. Keep me amped up. And so we're just counting it up again. Yeah. Okay, so now you have time. Now you can really, really make him spend that money. You have you have much more money than he does. Mm -hmm. Just just even going by the dice and all. And Caprice Caprice costs money like that. Those side games really add up. The the, the classic runner strategy has just been just at zero. Mm -hmm. They just spend two to res her and then at least one or two to to win to get the guaranteed uh, side win. Do it on the archives and do it on, on the scoring, you know. Okay, so you had to load up the system. I'm going to run for my second of the four yeah. And this is this is the reason here. This is the exact reason why I've been considering heavily playing Force of Nature as bad of a card that it is, mm -hmm. because I have so much trouble with tokens okay. when I'm playing this deck. Yeah. Didn't count on the end up, so we will. It just, and, and, and if you don't draw your sucker counters early, or sorry, you don't accumulate enough early, or they can just purge too, then Yogg Yog oh. isn't really playing its way. Okay, so I will... And of course Yogg does absolutely nothing against Nose Field, which we are guessing is on the top of that triple stacked server. So he pops a second Jackson. He's thinking about, I, I believe he's thinking about that, we're assuming it's a Caprice. But maybe he feel looted, that's a really deep Jackson. And that R&D, oh my goodness, so, so sparse. Maybe not. Probably all agendas. Yeah, yeah we, we see him like kind of struggle to even shuffle that. <laughs> Oh my god, that, that looks like less than 10 points here. And he pointed to the face down, which, yep, yeah, means it's a res. Mm -hmm. So he really doesn't want you in. That could signal 
Oh, we know. Did he res? No, he didn't yes. actually res it. Twice. Okay. okay. My mistake. A bunch of stuff you don't care about, and the thing you care about on top. Okay. So there's the future perfect. All right, here we go. Can you go two for two? Oh, you you show you show them your dice for this. It depends. Uh, it depends. Is this a mind game? Think, make them yeah. think things. Now they're trying. Now he's trying to guess what your code is. I like it. And now he's like, what does it mean? You're betting one. And he bet two. So well, you didn't get it. So yeah, you did not win the game. But now you know it's there. Another three points. And you've made your central run. Mm -hmm. You have clicks left. Can you go in for that agenda? I kind of at this point I know that it's very unlikely that I'll win this game. I mean, Trip just has no tokens, so he's blown as soon as I make that run. But he, he'd have to res all three ice. Mm -hmm. So is that maybe that's your last resort? Just hope that the the combined cost of that server is enough to yeah. win. Yes. The next yeah. He, and of course, he could just be blocking too. Like, in fact, like, he could only lose two people. Mm -hmm. And if you load Crypsis and go, like, you could conceivably get through two. You just have to trash it, which is whatever. Did its job. Sense your frustration. <laughs> yeah, it's not a good feeling. Here we go. All right. Oh, you did not right, load Crypsis. You're just going. I didn't want to waste a click just in case it was okay. say. Yeah. Chris with the finger cracked. <laughs> oh, it was in Azuma. Oh, okay. And you would have had to know that because it was face up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I remember. Wait, I just, played, I just didn't see it. Yeah, so when I played the interns, we, uh, we both said, "Ooh, mystery card in Azuma." Right. Yeah. Okay. I'm not sure why he hesitated. He must just be counting the credits from the second piece, because obviously in Azuma by itself does nothing. You have to, you have to res it in uh, conjunction with the second one. Right. And I was forced to pay. Yeah. And break the uh, first of the game. Yep. So I, or the second one. So I can't play. On yeah. The next. Yeah, and then you're just going to look into encounter the next one. If you do, if you do break both, you could jack it up again. You're putting one game point, so right. Yeah, you're saying, show me the money here. What is it? Oh, Chris, you're killing me. <laughs> But Chris knows this has to happen. Or else, why would you res in Zoom? It's not going to do anything. Or just that he wants to res the second, third, or third. Yes. Oh, okay, yeah. But. With no yeah. So you can't just like, how much damage do we do to you? And uh, yeah, I mean, there's a lot to consider too. He has to keep his, keep his money in mind, knowing that he's going to get mental health. And the side game. It's going to be the Eli. And you should be out of clicks. You can't just uh, really, really click the right here. And he, oh, just in case. Just in case, yeah, he did rather than open. So does that mean you did have clicks then? I had one click, so I wouldn't get through, but he did it just in case. Okay. Um, I had some other trick with him that was amped up. Right, yes. But I, at this point, I was kicking myself so hard for dropping my curl. The curl, yeah, and, and that mimic. I don't mean to rag on you, but it did not pay. Yeah, I've just been doing nothing. You didn't even pawn it to get your money back. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was uh, a terrible, terrible limit. No, I'm in it. Paid, paid full value, so I can look at you. And so there you can see Curry now to end the turn, just in case he was blocking. Yeah, yeah. And, and he actually milled the card for the card. Oh, the thing as well. Oh, many videos, so not even this. Nice There's the Nisei. You just. Okay, well, you shouldn't have built no, back. Yeah, yeah. yeah he, he's saying it was just right there. Wow. That was, those were so he, yeah, he just did not find the agendas he actually wanted. Mm -hmm. Each time. I mean, each in time retrospect, 
No, yeah, you really don't want to score any points. Like, no one's really talking about it. No one's makes enough money. Like, it sucks, but like, it's possible that you can pay the four anyway. Mm -hmm. You really want to score the you say there and get your train going. Really, you know, a lot of the ice that I was hoping to be. Well, well played by Chris. Yeah, man, RP, I still, I still hate playing against him. Yeah. Until I start playing Valencia, apparently. Yes, that's <laughs> that's the trend that uh, apparently we're all going towards. Valencia. There's, there's a certain individual to thank for that. All wow. Right.